Hey, brother. Our mother just came to our house saying that she was kicked out of her house by you and your wife. She came to me for help. Just what do you think you're doing? Oh, hello, Matea. It's been a while since we last talked. But you don't even greet me and immediately just start giving me compliments? <laughs> it is not the time for greetings. We need to get straight to the point here. I'm asking you what the hell do you think you're doing kicking mom out of her own home? Mom is the owner of that house, right? Not you. What? What are you talking about? I'm the owner of this house, not mom. I'm the supporter of this family, so I can decide who lives here and who doesn't. And I decided that my wife could live with me, but not my mom. <laughs> what are you talking about? That house used to be mom's parents' house, so it's only natural for her to continue living there. I don't care if you're the supporter of the family or whatever. I'm the pillar of this house. I inherited this house from our father who passed away. And mother is just a parasite that doesn't even have a job. Huh? What in the world gave you that idea? That house has belonged to mom ever since her parents passed away, not dad, and certainly not you. Besides, what are you talking about when you say mom's unemployed? I mean, she quit her job when she was 46 because she was feeling ill, right? She's been a housewife ever since and never got another job. I mean, she says she does actually have a job, but she just stays in her room whenever she's not doing housework. Apparently, it's still a few years until she's able to receive her pension, but it looks like she has no intention of working, which means that she has zero income, i.e., She's unemployed. That means that she can't get by without relying on my salary, right? My wife is saying that she doesn't want to be bullied by my mom anymore as well, which means I have no choice but to kick her out. <laughs> Still, what are you thinking suddenly kicking her out without even letting her prepare first? All she has was her phone and wallet when she got here. A lot of her stuff is still in that house, right? If that's what you're worried about, then don't worry because we're going to be throwing her stuff away the next garbage day. Her stuff is just going to take up space here. What? You can't just throw away mom's stuff. But actually, I can since I'm the supporter of his family. <laughs> you see, I'm planning on making mom's room my hobby room. I'm going to immediately throw away anything that I think is a nuisance. <laughs> Don't. I'll come and take her stuff. What? All you want is for mom's stuff to be gone from that house, right? Well, yeah, but... If that's the case, then I'll come and take her stuff. Oh, is that so? I guess that's good timing then. I have no intention in providing money for any parasite. So you take care of your mother from now on. What? You're going to let mom live with me from now on? Yeah. If you've got a problem with me kicking her out, then you can take care of her yourself. I see. So I'm going to be living with mom from now on, huh? You see... You scolded me for kicking mom out, but you yourself don't want to provide for her. <laughs> Yay, I get to live with mom now. Huh? Why do you sound so happy about it? You do realize that you're going to have to provide for her since she's unemployed, right? Just shut up already, Renato. I can't even bother to explain it to you anymore since you clearly aren't listening to a word I say. I'll gladly let mom live in my house, but don't come to me later saying that you actually want mom to live with you, all right? Why would I say that? Who would want to provide for a parasite? Nice. So I have your promise then. I'm not going to take it back no matter what, all right? Oh, I'll come and get mom's stuff this afternoon, so don't mess with it, all right? Uh, this is not how I thought you'd react, but okay. It's not my problem. Besides, why do you sound so sure that I'm going to go and ask mom to return later on anyway? <laughs> what, you think I'm going to get lonely or something? <laughs> get real. Wow, so you seriously did take all of mom's stuff with you? What are you talking about? You're the one who kicked her out, aren't you? Um, Matea? Are you in your right mind? Huh? What do you mean by that? Of course I'm in my right mind. I mean, you're a housewife just like your mother, right? Hmm? Besides, you've got a husband, right? Did you ever get your husband's permission to let mom live with you guys? Yeah, I told him about the situation. 
He was furious when he heard what you did to our mother, and he agreed instantly. Oh, is that so? Tell this husband of yours it's none of his business. Oh, and by the way, I'm not a housewife. I'm still working just like I did before getting married. What? Really? Well, never mind then. We're just happy that there's one less mouth to feed now that mom is gone. I'm going to ask you this again, but are you sure you're not going to say you want mom to come back later on? Huh? I already told you I'm not. You're the one that should be making promises not to give me back mom later on. Don't say later on that you actually don't want her at your house because supporting her is too expensive, alright? Of course I won't say that. There are only good things that will come if we let mom live with us. Huh? What do you mean only good things? You'll have to pay for her expenses because she's unemployed, you know? I think times are going to get tough for you two now that mom is gone, but do your best with that unemployed wife of yours, alright? Because I know that you barely make any money and mom's salary was the main source of income in that house. <laughs> huh? But I already told you mom doesn't have a job. Don't tell me you actually believed her when she said she worked from home or something, did you? Don't be fooled by her, Matea. She's just playing some sort of video game on her computer. Seriously, I'm worried about you, Matea. You're not thinking straight. Um, Matea? I just wanted to check in. Supporting mom is more expensive than you thought it was going to be, huh? Hmm? Uh, not really, actually. It's the other way around, really. She's the one who's been helping us a lot. What? Until now, my husband and I split the housework between us, but now mom's here to help us as well. Thanks to her, I can spend more time on work. She's been a real help. Yeah, but even if she does the housework, she's just a money-eating parasite, right? Seriously? You're still saying that? What's your problem? All I'm doing is telling you the truth. Mom isn't unemployed, you know. Huh? I already told you she's just lying when she says she has a job, Matea. No, she's not lying. And she doesn't play video games on her computer all day either. She just works from home like me. Mom's been using her expertise to help me with my work for five years now. Huh? What do you mean, Mom's expertise? What do you mean she's helping you with your work? Sorry, but I'm actually very busy right now doing said work. So bye. Wait, hold on. Mom seriously had a job? Hey, Matea. About this expertise of moms that you told me about last time. Did you mean that she was an expert on housework or something? And by her job, did you mean that you paid her to do housework and now you're hiring her as your maid? Did you forget that mom used to work at a movie production company? My job is video editing, so she's using her experience at her time working at the movie production company to help me. Oh, so that's what you meant. Now that you mention it, I guess mom did used to do something like that when we were kids. Besides, there's no way I'd treat my own mom like a maid. I hope I'm wrong, but don't tell me that ever since you and your wife moved into mom's house when dad died one year ago. You've been treating mom like a maid and making her do all the housework, have you? Huh? Uh, I would never do such a thing. Maybe you would never do such a thing, but what about your wife? Uh, um, you see, my wife is actually a very busy person, so she doesn't have time to do the housework. Seriously? But isn't she unemployed? Tell me, what in the world is she busy with? Uh, my wife is a professional influencer on social media, and she says that it's very difficult work. I see. A professional influencer, huh? It's no use lying to me, Renato. Mom already told me everything. Anyways, I'm still working, so bye. Matea, I can't take this anymore. This is terrible. I know I promised I wouldn't ask you, but please give me mom back. I'll come and pick her up today. Huh? You can't just break your promises, Renato. 
Didn't you say yourself that you didn't want a money-eating parasite to have to provide for? I was wrong. Let's just pretend that promise never happened. It doesn't count because if I had known mom had an income, I never would have kicked her out. This is you and mom's fault for not explaining it to us sooner. That promise was unfair since you knew that I was at a disadvantage. It just doesn't count anymore, so give her back. Um, but mom said that she actually did explain to you that she had a job. And I myself recall explaining it to you several times, but you never seemed to understand what I was saying. Uh, it's not that I didn't understand, I just thought that she was lying. Come on, Matea. I didn't know working from home was a thing people did now. Yeah, she said that you just laughed it off and called her a liar, saying that you've never seen her do work. I heard that even before you kicked her out with only her wallet and phone, you would often call her a money-eating parasite. I mean, she really didn't look like she was doing any work. That's what you get for being so stubborn and unwilling to accept new ideas, Renato. You deserve everything that's happening to you. Apparently, it's been really rough for Mom ever since you and your wife barged into her home, moving in before Mom could even object. What? Yeah, she said that your wife literally never did any housework, and she would often bully Mom into doing what she said. Apparently, she was constantly sleep-deprived for a time because she tried to do both her job and the housework. Uh, well, that's... I heard from my wife that she did all the housework, and Mom just stayed in her room and did nothing all day. She does work when she's in her room. Your wife is the one that does nothing all day. Your wife probably got used to that lifestyle, right? Tell me, what's the situation inside the house right now? That's what I was trying to tell you. Ever since mom left the house, it's been a literal dumpster. Whenever I take a step, I stir up a cloud of dust. And the floor is so covered in garbage that you can't even see it anymore. My wife never does the laundry as well. So we've been wearing the same clothes over and over. Not only that, but the only thing in our refrigerator is beer. And all we eat is either fast food or we order takeout or lunch boxes from the convenience store. Oh, is that so? Please, Matea. I know you can't see me, but I'm bowing to you on my knees right now while crying. Why the hell would that matter to me? It's fine if she doesn't live with us anymore, but at least let her come by and clean the house once in a while. I don't know, maybe four times a week or something? I'm not breaking my promise and she's not going to be living with us, right? Let's make a compromise. Yeah, except you never had the right to ask for mom to come back in the first place, so it is not a compromise. Besides, if mom goes to and from our houses four times a week, she's going to collapse from overwork. It's also very expensive to get from your house to mine. What? Come on, you're over-exaggerating. It only takes 30 minutes by car or train to get to and from our houses. What? Didn't I tell you already? The three of us moved recently. We now live halfway across the country and we would need a two-hour plane ride to get from our house to yours. Huh? You moved? Yeah. I remember I told you when we were visiting Dad's grave. I said that we were going to be moving to Sicily soon since my husband was relocated at his job. Jesus, Renato, I guess you really just have zero listening skills. Sicily? Where in Sicily? I won't tell you. Why not? Because if I tell you, you might cause us problems. Huh? I'm your brother. You can't talk to me like that. What do you mean I'll cause problems for you anyway? Um, don't you realize that you're causing us problems right now by texting us? Oh, and I don't know, maybe you'd suddenly show up at our house one day and try to take mom with you or something. Uh, I would never do anything of the sort. I'm your older brother, Matea. Please, tell me where you guys live, now! Um, I'll consider telling you once you two get your shit together and you're no longer begging mom to come back. Oh, and by the way, mom says that... Oh... So she's willing to come to our house to do the housework after all? No, she said that she sold the house, so you two need to move out by the end of this month. What did you just say? But I inherited this house when Dad died. She can't just sell it. I already told you several times that that's not your house, you dumbass. 
That house used to belong to mom's parents and mom inherited it when they passed away. Which means that she's the owner of that house, not you. But I'm the pillar of this family. I get to decide everything that happens in this house. Just shut up already. I don't care if you're the fucking pillar of the family. Mom is the one who owns that house. I don't need to tell you this, but Mom was also the one who paid for the land tax all this time. Uh, tax? You have to pay tax if you own a house? Yes. Mom can sell that house whenever she wants to. She says that she wants you two to go clean the house before you leave since the new owners are going to be moving in soon. What? You're telling me we need to clean this place up? This place is a dumpster! If you don't want to clean it yourselves, then hire a house cleaning service, but you're going to have to pay for that yourself because we certainly aren't. What? Seriously? How much does a house cleaning service cost? Look it up yourself. Although judging by how dirty you say the house is, then it's definitely not going to be cheap. Well then, goodbye. Hey, wait. You're not going to at least help us clean this place? No, thanks. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> um... Bye! They had one month to leave Mom's house when me and Renato had our last conversation. Renato doesn't earn a lot of money and his wife is unemployed, so they decided to not hire a house cleaning service and just do it themselves. Somehow, they managed to clean the place up as Renato managed to get his wife to help, even though she refused at first. To be honest, I was a bit proud of them, since it seemed that all they needed was a motive, then they would actually do the work. But since they were so busy cleaning up, they forgot to do the laundry, and the uniform Renato wore to work started to seriously stink. Not only that, but Renato was also frequently late or absent to work. And when he made a serious mistake at his job, his company finally had enough of him and fired him. Also, apparently they only realized that they hadn't planned on where to go after they left mom's house on the day they had to leave. Panicking, the two of them went to the job hunting center and managed to find a job that came with housing. However, this new job of theirs paid worse than Renato's last job. And it was also the kind of place where unpaid overtime was seen as natural. Unable to gather their wits and think of a plan to improve their lives, Renato and his wife slowly spiraled into a life as miserable as one could imagine. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.